If we go through the books, we see pictures, we see uh, cuttings and clippings from newspapers, mm. we see tickets from a, a, a ferry boat, we see whatever. Mm. In, on, on a very um, ordinary day mm. uh, level of association. Yeah. Um, nevertheless, there is a subtone, a subtext trying to make sense out of all these details, does it? Yes, I'm not entirely sure that I'm able to make sense out, out of you know, whatever I come across at all, except in the effort of recording it. So uh, whatever sense there is, is primarily an aesthetic sense. And I realize, you know, that making in prose a decent pattern out of what happens to come your way is uh, a preoccupation with, which, in a sense, has no higher ambitions really, and then for a brief moment in time to rescue something out of that stream of history that keeps rushing past. And this is why I have, among other reasons, why I have photographs in the text, because the photograph is perhaps the paradigm of it. The photograph is meant to get lost somewhere in a box, in an attic. It's a, a nomadic thing that uh, you know, has a small chance only to survive. And I think we all know that feeling you know, when we come accidentally across a photographic document being of one of our lost relatives, being of a totally unknown person. And we get the sense of appeal. They're stepping out, having been found by somebody after decades or half centuries having been found by somebody, all of a sudden they come stepping back over the threshold and they say, we were here two months and please uh, take care of us for a while. About two months ago in a junk shop in Bange, which is the nearest small town to, to where I live, I fished out of a box of cheap prints a little card which had a lichen on it, a dried lichen, and underneath it said in very neat handwriting, gathered from the tomb of Marshal Ney, <laughs> Paris, 7th of July, 1833. And something like this, totally, you know, valueless as such, uh, somehow gets me going. Illustrations of the book, at first glance, it's odd. You yeah. don't find a novel or a travel story with yeah. so many illustrations yeah. that, moreover, are a functional part of the yeah. text. They don't illustrate the text, they help the text further on. Yeah. I mean, the sentence ends at the top of the picture and then the picture is part of, of the yeah. story. Mm. Um, so it's, it's far more convincing than Miss Marple telling you that it well, was yes. a Well, yes, but nevertheless, you know, there's the same, there's the possibility for the same sleight of hand that makes uh, crime fiction possible because it's all, it can be all arranged retrospect. So I had the clipping, I only needed to invent the character that goes with it and associate him with the main figure in the text. In this case, it happens to be true. Oh yes, but, that, that was the thing I, I suspected, but that most it, of them are, are true. Others. Most of them are true, but there are several which I made up. And uh, so, you know, the reader must be constantly asking uh, is this so or isn't it so? And of course this is one of the central problems of fiction. The 19th century authors are always at pains to point out that they found this manuscript yes. you know, in a, that's, in that's a bedroom, work, in, yes. a bedroom in Husum. Yes. And uh, they, therefore it's true. Yes. They're not telling a story they've made up, they're recording real life. Yes. And of course in a sense we still have that problem as narrators. Yes and many writers fudge it or obscure it. And uh, I think it is still a crucial problem well, yes, to deal with this legitimization. Of course, but, but the difference is, of course, we don't see the manuscript found in the Badstadt in Husum. No, we no. just get a print, and in this yeah. case we get the actual material yeah. that proves the author's point. Yes, that's where photography is so wonderfully useful. You, you collect the photographs? Well, I do, you know, I'm, I have for years, you know, anything that comes my way I put in a box, but I also have a small cheap camera which I, because the implausible things you come across that if you are not able to record, nobody will believe you. 
And uh, so it's quite useful to, to have that tool.